Hi guys, Paul here. Josh and Mike. Maniacs Me Podcast, Decade in Review, 1987. We are getting close. Getting close. Getting close. And 1990, that doesn't count. And again, it's not the best year. It's not the best decade, I don't think, for horror. I think it's the 70s, but hey, that's just me. A lot of people vote on polls and stuff when they never even watched the film to begin with. Yeah, yeah. There's that. I know. I tell people, don't vote if you didn't see the movies. And they never listen, do they? No. No, absolutely not. We should do a 70s for the shits of a vote. Well, I was see. I, this is a vote. We They took a vote. And they yeah, said they wanted to do the 80s. Suck. That's why we did the 80s first. We're going to do the 70s next. Scum. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much our budget. I'm waiting for those sweet 90s horror Those films. sweet 90s <laughs> off. I think we should at least do at least the 95. Oh, top 10, top 10, nice. like a top 5. Top 5 90s horror. Popcorn. Cemetery Don't Man, do it now. Ravenous. No, I don't want to talk about I it. I have no idea. No, no, okay, no, no, no. I got three. Candy That's Man. all. Candyman no. sucks. You know how much Candyman fuck? I like Tony Todd, but Candyman really does suck. Yeah, it's not that good. I watch it, I go, this is garbage. This is Don't get me wrong, I like Candyman, but I would never put it in like, oh, I... Oh, I, I put it in, and I went, oh, I'm never doing I just, that again. I just, it's not like a horror in the 90s. I don't, I don't think I put that ever as a movie. I, like, you know what's the best anything. movie from the 90s, and it's one of Josh's favorites, it's called The Crow. You could fuck off. <laughs> There's, no, literally. I mean, someone, if, trivial. If someone ever made me choose what movie I like better, The Crow or Rocky Horror Picture Show, I'd be at a crossroads terribly because I'd be like, I don't know. That's what I, I can't believe. Justin, I know Justin did that. You know, he's No, like, he fucked up. He put down, he didn't put down The Crow. He put down Rocky Horror and some other shit. Yeah. Oh, The Craft. The Craft. Yeah. I said, yeah. you should have put The Crow down. And he, yeah. then he would have like. That's a hard one. The I don't Craft know. is really bad too. The craft is terrible. Is, is it supposed to be sour? I don't know. There was a, yeah, so a bit of a sour twist. A minute. video. There was a video on YouTube, not YouTube, on Facebook circulating of Kitty playing. Yeah, sour farmhouse. Sour. Oh fuck you! Just give me a good goddamn hot dry hopped IPA. Okay, what are we talking about? There was 80s. a video of uh, Kitty playing live. Like Kitty sucks. Fucking three ugly bitches on their rack. And I remember literally saying in the comments, I hate the movie The Craft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway. 87. Right. As we, uh, as we uh, uh, lose more subscribers and followers. <laughs> so which is the fucking great. four we have. Yeah, exactly. Um, here we go. 1987. Here we go. Bad Taste. Creep Show 2. Dolls. Evil Dead 2. The Gate. Ghoulies 2, Hellraiser, House 2, The Second Story, The Lost Boys, The Monster Squad, Munchies, My Best Friend is a Vampire, Near Dark, Predator, Return to Horror High, and Video Dead. There you go. Well, there are several films in there that I do enjoy. Yes. I ended up going with Near Dark. Near Dark. Near Dark's great. Near Dark was my choice for. Definitely, that's a fucking romance. Definitely, yes, definitely one of my. That's a twi- definitely that's a, a twilight. That's a twilight. I would twilight. definitely put in my top lower end of the twenties. It's 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 uh, arguably my favorite vampire movie. Yes. Um, I give you that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love the cast for it. To be totally honest. I love Lance Hangerson's part. Oh my god. <laughs> and another Bill Paxton, Bill Paxton appearance. Yeah. I've always loved Bill Paxton. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually uh, did not get to see this film when I was younger. I had always I had the same I'd I always, I always, I had the I'd same always seen that image of Bill Paxton. Right, right. And I didn't know what it was from. And I Oh, that's how he normally looks. It's like John Carpenter in Carpenter and body bags. I got that <laughs> it's the same without makeup. I got the fancy. I had the same one, yeah. So. Um, but I finally looked into it, and I found that it was near dark and everything, and I was like, I really feel like I should watch this movie. Yeah, yeah. I actually watched it for the first time. Make it a little oh, bit easier to drink. A couple years ago, to be totally honest. Um, but I fell in love with it. It definitely quickly shot up there as far as... Uh, and a chick wrote and directed it. There you go. Looks course. like Ravenous, which I was surprised. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I love Lance Hanks' part in that. I love because how old are you? He goes, let's just say a pop for the sound. We lost. We lost. We lost. Yeah, they, they don't know that, though. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think it's a quote. Like, yeah, let's just say I fought for the South. We lost. We <laughs> lost. <laughs> you know, that never says they're vampires in the movie at all, though. No. That's another great thing, too. I love it. They never play on that vampire thing. That they're vampires. They just... So can you classify a vampire film? Oh, yeah. I mean, they have the same... Definitely. 
I mean, they have the, the. I mean, you can't be in sunlight. You have to drink blood. Mm-hmm. Well, that. Know? I mean, that. That thing. You work at Colony on third shift. Oh, I can't say that. Not a third shift. No, no, no. We're not in the third shift here. That place doesn't exist. But yeah, no. I went. I went with Near Dark. Um, there was some. Con Air. Con that is a great Air. film. I mean, Bad I Taste. Con I really Air. love. Con Air is probably one of the best films ever made. That's in that movie. It is. It. And um, no, no, no. That the box they bought. Mm-hmm. That's in there. Con Air. I mean, but uh, yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll take Near Dark over the Lost Boys. No, no. Obviously, obviously, yeah. Obviously. I mean, yeah. I love The Lost Boys. I mean, if you put a poll on the internet, on Twitter, what film is better, and you end Lost Boys and Near Dark, everyone's going to pick The Lost Boys. Absolutely. But, not, but n- probably none of them have ever watched that's Near because, Dark. That's because only 25% of those people ever watched Near Dark. even watched Near Dark. Exactly. I feel Lost Boys would have been great if they just focused on the Frog Brothers. Yeah. I just like, the, I just like, I like Corey Feldman um, and Jason Newlander, whatever his name is, and I just wish they would have just made... About them reading comic books and fighting vampires instead of having Corey Ham and his crazy stupid family in mm-hmm. it yeah. and his stupid brother Michael, which is a loser. I don't care what anyone says. When I watch that movie, I go, "You're dumb if you don't drink that fucking blood and, and become and, a fucking and, vampire, and, and, and rule the world." Yeah, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Well, man? I don't I understand. Guy. I, I want to drive really... around watching the saxophone guy on a dirt bike in the fucking I, beach. I don't understand this whole thing where we have to be whiny, cry people. About oh, everything. I wanted to punch Michael in the face. Who doesn't want that life where I can just live forever, eat Chinese Th- food? This is what I, I love the fact, this is why on The Howling, Eddie Quist is my favorite werewolf ever because he's empowered by it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's not like, whoa, no. Oh, I'm a werewolf. Know. I don't know what they do. I'm a madman. I, mean, like, I, mean, I agree with you. You don't see that a whole lot because the only other werewolf movie I can think where that's actually like a thing is American Werewolf in Paris. Yeah. The group of bad guy werewolves are all like, Pumped and psyched that they're werewolves. Yeah. And they, they, that's why they come up with that formula. Like it, turn, like you can transform whatever you want. Well, I mean, I mean the the main group in like Underworld and stuff. Like yeah, that are, they don't not they're not. I actually, like, I actually love the it. model for Underworld. But again, again, you get Underworld, and that fucking Michael is just another whiny, cryy bitch. Yeah, that doesn't deserve what he has. I mean, I would love to be a fucking werewolf for a vampire. Yeah, fuck yeah. Fucking but, right. So, but bad taste was really high up there for me. I like bad taste. Bad taste was mm-hmm. great. Uh, Creepshow two. I, I enjoy Evil Dead too, but it, Evil Dead one's better. I, and it's and I feel like you remember your thing with Halloween too. Yeah, I feel the same way with Evil Dead too. Like I, I you want can't them, pick just you. you have yeah, to pick I, them I, together. Yeah, I won't pick just Evil Dead two by itself. The Gate I actually enjoy quite a lot. And that remake, of, the sequel was bad, bad. I mean, but fun. Uh, yeah, but fun. But, fun. Yeah. Yeah. but but the Gate it did actually freak me out when but I was a kid. I, but I enjoyed the Gate a lot. Uh, yeah. Hellraiser, mm-hmm. the, uh, you know, the first appearance. Of and Hellraiser one is not yeah. good. No, I like it's the not, second one. Third. I, 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 Third, I, I, don't, I don't think the first Hellraiser is the best one. I don't, but I, I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate it opened it. up the door. It to started ones. the train um, rolling. I think it's one of those I mean, franchises where every movie after the first one's good. Munchies. Yeah. Anybody else like, ever like seen Munchies? Munchies the Phantasm's shit. the same way. Munchies Phantasm the one's shit. not very good, but the, like the other ones are much better. Yeah. You ever watch Munchies? Of course. Munchies, the Hobgoblins. Munch, Munchies is one of those movies that not a lot of people have seen. No, but Munchies is Munchies great. And the other thing is, it's not really. It's not that good. But it's, it's not really. But that it's good. also it's really not, enjoyable. Good, you think, would you uh, would you rather have munchies or critters? Munchies. Really? You like the munchies better? Munchies was a Charles I, Band. I, I, that's I always, like the band family. Thing. I always oh, okay, felt okay, like okay. munchies was a combination. The bandwagon. Like, I always the band felt wagon. like munchies was a combination of like. Cereal? Like critters and oh, yes. gremlins and yes, then freakies. my pet monster, yeah, right. all kind of mixed together. Mm-hmm. That was munchies. It was for some reason. Did you ever watch Hobgoblins? Was that based off the cereal though, Freakies? Remember no Freakies? Idea. I have no idea. Like I think that's what that whole started. The Freakies cereal. Um, Maybe. My best friends of vampires. Are I lot, the best pet. Pe- here's my problem. The my best friends of vampire is a better vampire film the than Love of Lost Boys and Near Dark. You think so? Absolutely. I would pick those. I I, I love Lost Boys horribly overrated, and Near Dark's actually fucking. Boring. I love when he goes to the butcher in my best friend. Yeah, and I, oh, first like, time, a pint, yeah, again, a pint, a pint, a, pig's a, blood. a pint, and he's a like, cup. how much? He's like a quart, a quart, a, a quart, a pint, like, first a pint, <laughs> first time, hey, kid. <laughs> and the, and, the, and then Renee, um, no, I can't say it. Uh, is in there and he's a great fucking actor. Yeah. Every time I go to say his name, I lose it. Yeah, I yeah. go, oh, um, I'm not gonna even try. I'm not gonna yeah. try. But but my best friend's a vampire, and it's got um, oh god, 
that great guy that was in Necronomicon mm-hmm. and he yeah, was in um, oh look, he's been so many fucking great things uh, yeah, uh, for yeah. some reason it just doesn't it's not hitting my head right now uh-huh. but my best friend's a vampire may be in my top five vampire films really ever. yes what, you know, it's word. perfectly it's, it's a it, lot it is an amazing movies, kid fun 80s adventure yeah there's a lot of shitty vampires yeah movies, so. like you know Teen Wolf isn't a, like a good werewolf movie, but it's, probably, it's, but it's one of the best werewolf movies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, it's, well, what's his, for some reason I always felt like Teen Wolf Two was werewolf there. movies and vampire movies fall into this weird trap where either they're really good oh or they're God. really <laughs> shitty, and most of them are really shitty. I love the ones that Especially are really. Werewolf movies. I love my Nashe films that are really, 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 really shitty, mm-hmm. but I love them so much more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they're Nashe. They're more obscure, though. Yeah, like, they're oh. Spanish, they're yeah. no budget, they're werewolf films, but Why, they do it you seriously. You can't talk to anyone but a real hardcore fan on Nashe. Yeah. yeah. Predator, I love Predator, but I don't really consider, I personally don't consider Predator very much a horror film. Predator is one of my favorite films, but it's not a horror yeah. film. Yeah. Uh, Return to one. Horror High. Hey, George Clooney. George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> he, he will not talk about it. No, though. he will not. He no. should. No, he won't. no, he won't That's talk about it. That's because he made it in other films. He's trying to find it to delete it off. And Video movie. Dead. A oh, very oh, underrated. Video I Dead. just watched it the other night again. Yeah, I remember That's I was movie. feeling a little ill. I was young. We watched the Video Dead. Mom brought home pizza, and I just couldn't do it. That was the only time I couldn't do it. And I was I was under the weather. I wasn't feeling good. I couldn't do it. But, couldn't do it. But yeah, I know those films like Stand Alone and all that stuff. I think, I think I'm going with Near Dark. The only other time that I actually got grossed out, which was very comical, because I'm like, mm, no, mm, no, and it only ever happened once in one film, and I just love, I love talking about it because I would be like, mm, mm, you know, like that, is the scene in um, Dead Alive, where it's squirting the pus yeah. and stuff into the the the. Those those <laughs> old Peter Jackson movies were sloppy, man. Like. Oh, it was, into that pudding and oh I can't oh god because I'm just I I remember just popping this huge boil on top of this deer's head and all this white tapioca pus pull came out and I'm like I just think of that and the smell hit me and it's like wow you think back and you're like dude that gave us you know Dead alive, bad taste. I love it. And he's doing these Lord of the Rings and the Hobbits. And then he goes he goes into Lord of the Rings and you're like. Hey, you want to see what this guy did when he was younger? Check mm-hmm. out these films. The people are just like, what? What the fuck? Yeah, I know, right? I mean, Frighteners I, is one of my all-time favorites. Frighteners, Frighteners is good. Great. Um, yeah. Yeah. Jeffrey Combs yeah. and Michael, Michael J. J. Fox. Fox. <laughs> and, Andy, uh, and that and, douche that played Biff or something. like. I don't know. He was in the uh, other guy that looks like that. Jake Busey's in it. Jake Busey. <laughs> Jake Busey. Which is funny. Cause he's in, uh, I remember somewhere he was credited as his brother and he had to go through and change the... <laughs> put Gary Busey in the credits by accident. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Shit, like... sorry. Uh, what's your pick? Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2? Wow. wow. I picked that because I think it's my favorite out of the, the trilogy. And you know, though, like I said, I've watched those movies in reverse. Right, right. I remember watching that. That was one of those movies, I think, I think for me... You did Army 2 1. Right? Army 2 1, yeah. And but, but 2, I experienced at my buddy's house when I was an early teenager. We were skateboarding. We stopped and hung out and watched Evil Dead 2. And I just mm-hmm. remember falling in love with it because there's nothing. There's something about a guy who cuts his hand off and then attaches, rigs a chainsaw to it that's just awesome to me. I remember from, from that point on, my whole life, I said, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I'm cutting my hand off and put a chainsaw on it. Which just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, and I know realistically I can't because I probably I cut my move. hand off you and I would just die. Shock. Yeah, you I would go just die. Shock and then yeah. But I mean, like, I just thought it was so fucking cool, and I really feel that was the film where we get the ash we have today of the one-liners yeah. and the fucking yeah, yeah, we, we the hot shot, you know, the ego he has. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I it's, totally it's, got this. I don't got the, this. The chopping his hand off. As a testament to how badass Ash is as a person, because it never got infected either. There no. is a scene, and I never really watched the film because I refused to, even though I just got it for free today. In Evil Dead Two or Evil Dead the remake. remake. Yep. <clears throat> Again, excuse me, my nose is acting up. I've never seen the film. I even a penny was too much for me to buy this film to watch it. Right, I got it for free, which is still probably too much. There's a scene where the car lands on this woman. And her arm. And she literally just basically rolls and breaks her arm and pulls it out of the car. And I don't know if this is some kind of weird thing that where she gets her one arm and all. I don't know what it was. All I know is you would go into shock and you would die. 
She was, if I'm not mistaken, how the fuck she was possessed at the time, though. I don't even remember. I watched There's it that one time. over there on your, on your thing walking around. Yeah. Where's yeah, the There it is. Or is that a fly? That's a fly. Oh, that's Never a mind. Fly. Shoot fly, don't, don't bother, bother me. me. Yep. But I was like, you would literally just go right into shock. Now, there's a part because what I didn't like about the movie is the girl is possessed and she ends up becoming the hero. Which doesn't make sense at all. Because she ends up becoming, like, she's the one that's in the fucking the salad. Like, I have a yep. soul. And, so that's actually what happens. And then all of a sudden, like, towards the end of the movie, she, like, fights this demon inside of her and she becomes the hero and grabs the chainsaw. Because I think when she has the car. Okay, here, here's my problem. Don't quote me on this. I don't now, remember. Now, now, please, I don't know. And I, I've never watched it, so don't yell at me. He might be incorrect, so don't yell at him. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been a while since The I... person that is possessed in the cellar is literally cutting her tongue in half, yeah, yeah. doing all... All that would still be there when you stop being possessed. Again, literally, you would fall to pieces in shock. Yeah. You can't become the hero. Yeah. You just mutilated yourself. I thought, I, was, I thought that was the part I always thought was funny. I go, wait, because I remember I go, she's the one... Because she, in the whole movie, she's always the one in the cellar. She's not even the main character, and she ends up becoming the main character at the end, where she kind of like rises above and fights the dead eye. Does the survive. girl from the cellar that mutilates the shit out of herself in the Evil Dead remake become the she actual, become... or do they look so much alike that he's confused? I say I watch it one time. I'll watch it. Know, we'll, 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 we'll do Evil Dead <laughs> one versus Evil Dead remake because he wants to do originals versus remakes anyway. I'm okay with that. So we'll that we'll we'll do that, okay. and I'll watch it, and I'll I'll say you know what I probably like it better than the original. Probably. Yeah, yeah I'm you know, I'm willing like, to put money on it. I'm a, very, a. I'm a modern guy. If he does, what if he does there? come to us and says, I actually like I the actually remake? I really liked it. I'll be fucking floored. That movie really is so it. bad. I remember when I bought the DVD, I sat on the coffee table, me and my girlfriend went out. Mm -hmm. We came back, the dog literally pulled it off the coffee table and then shit on it. <laughs> I and I go, Boo Boo even thinks this movie's shit. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Not even Matt the dog. Okay, so there we go. So you picked. You picked Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2. Wow. What you got, bud? I have two movies, and I'm putting them together, and I'll explain why, that were not on the list. Opera and Stage Fright. This is by Michelle Sylvie. And Stage Fright by the great Argento, which is way better of a director than fucking Carpenter. Now, that's another rant we had earlier about a stupid poll that was on who's a better director, and everyone picked Carpenter. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're just an idiot. You know another fucking thing that gets fun on the right? I'm just being cut you off here, but yeah. Stephen King films at Pupil. Oh, good that one. That movie gets he fucking... He puts the cat in the oven. Yeah, I mean, no one ever talks about that fucking movie. And that's a Stephen King movie, and I think it's one of his greatest And that's what was films. like, uh, oh, do you know what Ian McKellen played a Nazi once? And he's what? Jewish. If you like yeah. all the <laughs> damn Stephen King movies that, like... Stephen King stories that became movies, your collection would be huge just on yeah. that alone. Yeah, the, the, absolutely. The library for Stephen King stuff is actually oh, yeah. quite yeah. massive. Yeah. Oh, it's not just Rose Red? I yeah. don't know. I like Rose Red. <laughs> you I gotta say I that the It remake is better than the original It. I like the It remake. I do too, actually. I do like the It. Don't hate it fucking kills. He does. He yes. really fucking does. Go ahead and say your shit, because I got some notable mentions. Good stuff. I'm not into that whole Rick It thing. Anyway, so we got this, and basically Stage Fright. They, uh, a, a maniac gets locked into this play of Night Owl, which they made a Night Owl later with John Leguizamo, which yeah. I own. Mm -hmm. And then, so basically he goes around and kills everybody. They have to escape. It lo it's a beautiful film. I really like the killing. And I'm going to say both at the same time because it was made the same year. Argento made it. and I made uh, Opera, which is the same kind of premise, you know. It was kind of like the uh, Fram of the Opera thing where um, the one person dies and it gets replaced by someone who's stalking her, like a crazy stalker. Gotcha. So he's killing people because he's trying to stalk and get this girl. He's killing people because he's locked in there, he's a maniac, and he's going to kill everybody. Strangely, and I love this little Easter egg, uh, Mich uh, Mikhail uh, Sovi is in opera. And uh, Barbara uh, uh, Capisti is in opera as well, who's the main star in this, which is also, uh, she plays a little bit role in Cemetery Man. Okay. Yeah, so she's one of the friends with the hooker that uh, in Cemetery Man. But basically, it's the same people making the same film but the same general premise at the same fucking time, so I'm going to pick both opera and stage fright, which are both better than what they picked. The end. Goodbye. What about some notable mentions? Notable mentions. Let's fucking go. Ghoulies 2. Ghoulies 2. Yeah. Was way better than Ghoulies 1. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that there's parts in Ghoulies 1 where it's like really creepy, satanic, serious, and then they ruined it. Ghoulies yeah. 2 just kind of fucking is a joke. And then, yeah. But they took the wasp, joke out. Lost in the fucking theme song for it. They took the joke and ran with it, though. Ghoulies movies are fun. I like Ghoulies. Grotesque. Grotesque. I, I, I have it. Have you ever seen Grotesque? 
That's got, um, I can't think of anyone in that fucking movie right now. I know it's a good movie, though. Uh, Hellraiser, Monster Squad, Monster in the Closet. I thought that was 1981. Monster in the Closet? Yeah. No. With Paul Walker. Yeah. So it's 1987. 1987, Monster. Yeah. Because we did Monster in the Closet. Yeah, I'll double check that, but I know. No, I think you're right. But, uh, 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 it's the only good Paul Walker film, but glad he's dead. And he's like 11 in it. (laughs) He's like, and he's got the smallest role. Yeah. That's the only thing I got for a notable mention. He had a bigger role in that car crash. Oh, uh, that's a joke. It's just yeah, that was his best, uh, best, best fucking role. What do we got? What do we 1986. Got? 1986. <clears throat> no. 86, 87, what well, is it? Well, here's it the thing. It says 87 in the... Here's the thing. It's Sometimes the movies are made a certain year, but not released We're until released, the following yeah. year. No, so yeah. it depends on if they're going off of the release date or the actual date that it was completed. Monster in the Closet is really crazy good. But I don't understand why it looks like a big piece of shit. Literally, it looks like a giant turd. You know, it's a female too, isn't it? It's a female with breasts, and it picks up the. I love the fact that it, that's the other like. That's just one of those great trauma films, and it makes no sense. And, that's and, good. But it plays on yeah. the fact like and it picks the guy up and takes the guy away instead of picking the girl up like all all the monsters do because it's a female. It's, surf, <laughs> surf Nazis must die. Interesting. Oh, must Surf die. Nazis must die has a little cameo. You only see his arm, but it's John Hall from Midnight. Oh shit! And Heartstoppers. He's the coroner. Is that classified as a horror movie? No. Okay. It's just crazy. I didn't know if we could classify all trauma films. No, horror. apparently with you guys, every horror, every fucking movie ever made is a horror movie. I don't think we ever made a horror No, that's what you guys are saying. Is, Ooh, especially not Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is definitely a fucking horror film. Trauma? There's some, there's, there's some films, like, especially when you get into the trauma <laughs> library, they're just their own... Tromeo and like there, I, I don't even feel like there's a category for them. They're just trauma, trauma films. Trauma. That's the category. Trauma. Like, what kind of film is it? It's a trauma. It's a trauma film. film. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 either, they're their own genre. Either, yeah. yeah. You either like trauma films. Or you I mean, don't honestly, like, like you know, screenplay, student bodies. Uh, yeah. yeah, you either like them or you don't. Yeah, no. Nobody. I've never met anybody that's yeah. like. Eh, I think they're okay. Like nobody's. No, no, they're very either. polarizing. Yeah. Yeah. Either you love trauma films or you yeah. hate trauma yeah. films, and that is it. Now then you have the yeah, oh that's fine. There's, no, there's no there's no crying. Then you have then like you have the Toxic Avenger one two three four five and then six. You know, and like then you have the uh, Mr Kabuki Man and Oh that was funny. I, part four is really funny. The Citizen Toxic <laughs> Killer Killer Condom. Yeah, the Killer Condom. Then you had know, Toilet Shark and yeah. Dick Shark or Toilet Blades shark. and Pigs. Was, that, was Pigs trauma? No. Pigs is trauma, yeah. Pigs trauma? Yeah, it was, it was. Most of the films that are released by trauma weren't made by trauma. No, I know. And actually, I was watching a whole documentary. It was called Dinner with uh, Lloyd. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, even he was saying, he goes, a lot of stuff. They, they, they have like a lot of, like, like they have like, uh, 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 fuck, what's his name? Who was the guy uh, that everyone loved that I thought was sexy? Liberace. Yeah, Liberace. No, the fucking Brad. Brad Pitt. Yeah, like some of Brad Pitt's like very first film. Cutting ever. class. Yeah, like shit like that. Like stuff like they owned his rights his very first movie. Thelma and Louise was one of his earliest movies. Yeah, like it's just it's just shit like that. It's just like stuff that a lot of famous movie actors today don't want people to know that they did. <laughs> I just think it's really funny too that all these people bitch about yes, I'm wearing swim trunks. A lot of people bitch about horror movies. I don't like horror. I don't like horror, but do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? Well all those actors started in horror. Yeah, most of them. So, most fuck you. <laughs> Basically, yeah, you know. Well, it was a good, it was a good diving point. I mean, they were looking for bodies. And if yeah. You, if you had any kind that's of that's the talent, greatest part about old, old, low budget horror is they don't care who you are. Just yeah. get in here and do and this. And if you had any kind of talent, you landed a good role. And most of these films were not made according to what you call what is it the uh, the union. It wasn't in the union, so you could get non union workers. You could pay them a little wage. You could see, you could buy them for hot dogs and stuff. After that, this and that, it's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, which is nice. Um, I just thought it's one of those things. You can't make, I don't know, it's weird. Unless you're super low key, super under budget, super getting just like, you know, your friends and your family, it's hard to make those same kind of films again because, again, once you get into the union, the, like the actor's union, you can't do this. You have to pay them this. Yeah. You can't do that. Actors yeah. Guild. Yeah, the guild, you know. You can't just bulldoze a girl off a cliff onto a mattress because that's not safe. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, well, okay, so what about Marilyn Burns? Right, all that shit that they were doing, getting their asses beaten, getting real cuts and scrapes and scars all over them. 
you can't make those films anymore unless again you have a, a dedicated people of under under the table people family friends and stuff that are serious about making some hardcore films you make hardcore films that's why I like Jim Van Beaver and stuff his films are so disgusting that like he just went and just made them like just like the the, the Jared Bookwater films you know what I mean this is underground people making films you know getting away from the whole actor skill thing like Russo films and stuff it's kind of, you know it's fun it's fun so it's, it's fun. fun for them they get to yeah. make them you make a little bit of money mm-hmm. enough to get skipped but they, they, people don't want to make a little bit of money and have fun anymore with these films that go to their cock out fuck Cabin in the Woods you know what the more I see see it and think and see the people the stupid fucking actors that are in it it piss me off you're just out there for money you want to become a fucking star you don't give a fuck about the genre Fuck I, you. I don't disagree with you entirely, but there, I mean, I enjoyed Cabin in the Woods. Fuck all these mainstream, I get a million dollars for making a movie piece and of I actually, shit. The, the, the guy that played the stoner guy in Cabin in the Woods, I don't know what his, the character, the actor's name is, yeah, but, right. but um, he was in a movie called I Think You Might Be the Killer, which was pretty enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was him, and it was, uh, oh, that, the girl that played Willow in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, um, uh, Michelle, somebody. Not Sarah Michelle Geller, the other. I didn't say girl. Sarah she Michelle. Was in, um, she was in Michelle. American Pie. Yeah, I know. I don't know her fucking name. Yeah, yeah. but uh, that was like a fun, newer horror flick that, you know, was real under the radar. I think it was made on a fairly low-ish mm-hmm. budget. Well, I liked. You know, it's always nice to see new people, right? Yeah. But then you find the new people is a fucking guy that got paid this much money. He's in yeah. the union. He's all the. Ah, fuck all that. Yeah. It's always nice to see new people too. No, I, actually, no. I really just like most. I don't like new. I don't like most actresses anymore. They're all fucking fake tits and all this stuff. And it's like I don't care about you. I literally wouldn't care if they died in real life after I watched this. I saw them. I'd laugh and go, "Good, good oh, for it." Wait, we fucking our fucking body count. We're building a body count here every time we talk <laughs> yeah, about someone they die. Just, there's, there's nobody in the films I give a fuck I mean, about. That's why we just. That's why I'd rather watch films from the '80s all day than watch anything new. <sighs> They're not good. No one's funny. Most, most of not a most, single fucking most, person in the film anymore is funny. Enjoyable. Yeah, there's no, there's no, and there's no classic people. There's no people that are gonna withstand the test of time anymore. What about Saturday the Fourteenth? No, that's a I funny mean, film. Trans Transfi- Transylvania Six Five Thousand. Yeah. I, I like Transylvania Six Five Thousand. Yeah, boy, what is that? I don't know. Are they shooting guns yeah, around there? Just, if I told them the next time I heard a slam, I was coming in and slamming well, them. What are they slamming? Maybe they're just I sitting down. Well, you should just dress like oh. Macho Man go, yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> What's going on over here? The opportunity's knocking. Build a door. Yeah. Uh, kids, it's really funny. But yeah, we definitely like the... And this is why we can't have a three-year-old over there with the girls. Because what the girls are here, they don't hear anything. You know? But, but stage fright, definitely for me. Opera, you picked... Evil Dead. Evil Dead too, and he picked uh, some other horrible choice. That's so what's our, what are we doing? Are we doing like 88 and 89 next? Yeah. And 90 or just 89 and 90? Well, that's not part of the 80s, is it? Well, I don't know if you're just going to give us one for good luck kind of thing. No, 80 through 89. And then we have to do Christine and Maximum Overdrive. I know you're really looking forward to it. Fucking Christine is terrible. You're really looking forward to it. You have to tell yourself that. I love this film. You're gonna come into work with Christine shirt after we do it. You're gonna love it. I remember, Stop slamming that door. I remember right I got there. a Christine I'm sticker. Shit I don't know how I did it. I was I was ordering something from Fright Rags, and they said, "Do you have any comments before you?" I said, "Free stickers are always nice." Yeah. They sent me a slew of fucking stickers, and one of them was a Christine sticker. I just go. I don't even know. I think I threw it out. They just threw it out. Yeah. Christine hates. That's good for you. Just she for you. It. I was actually at the tattoo shop. Working. He's actually telling me about his giant Christine collection he has yeah. at his house. Yeah. I said, don't let a bike go on me. I have a giant Christine collection. He's like a whole, you know, he has a car. All oh, Christine. Yeah, that's kind of funny. So, yep, that's it. You know, except for the awkward moments where he just I walks away these. and does yeah, kid so, shit. I love these. I, I just, it's hot. Why don't you just I, wear them? I, well, I don't really like wearing shorts at all, but it's fucking hot. Well, and I do. You look amazing in shorts. I have, I have great legs. But I knew it was going to be hot, and I yeah. just like, I'm just going to wear a cut-off shirt and fucking shorts, because it's the only pair of shorts I own, too. <laughs> one pair. Yeah, so I got one pair of <coughs> swimming trunks, and I don't even go swimming because I hate water. So it's one of those kind of things. I just have That explains the shower thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't do showers. Yeah. I just have a shower. I... Just the, puts a bottle full of water. The Queen, the the queen Elizabeth, no, a Queen Victoria had a shower once a month, whether she needed it or not. And if it's good enough for the fucking Queen, it's good enough for me. 
And Bathory had a, a shower once a month in a baby's blood. And if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. So there you oh, go. Same thing there. Yeah. So, I mean, this has been 1987 review and a lot of just awkward talking when you were doing shit. Yeah, sure. So, but there you go. But that's what we have. I mean, what if, what else do we have to talk about? I, I mean, think. no, uh, I mean, I've ever seen bad taste is probably something that bad people taste. would say, hey, honorable mention goes to bad taste. Monster Squad is probably one of the best action adventures. Goonies sucks, by the way. Goonies is fucking horrible. If you like Goonies, I don't fucking like you. You're rough sometimes. Goonies you're, is you're fucking horrible. Like, so Goonies all is, or nothing, do or die. Goonies so is movie trash, taste yeah. sometimes. Goonies is 100% trash. I can't stand oh, it. Monster hey. Squad is the kid action adventure movie. I can of get Goonies. it. I mean, Monster Squad's better than Goonies. Yeah. Goonies is fucking garbage. Goonies is fucking garbage. Uh, Video Dead, for some reason, it's going to be one of those ones I always like. I like Video Dead. Video Dead, you don't know this. one of those so things. I remember when I went my first horror con and I found a bootleg. I was like, oh, mine. Oh, that's nice. awesome. You know, because you couldn't find shit like yeah, that, yeah. you know? No, some, some of them are hard to find. Video Dead is still hard to find. Like, it is, yeah. Like, yeah. You have to order it almost. Like, video yeah. Violence was hard to find. Because I don't like... I've I, had Video Violence 1 and 2 on DVD and I can't find it. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't like... Ordering my movies, I like finding them in stores. Yeah, the, the hunt, hunt, the hunt for yeah. 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 It's and like going to a good cheap. bookstore. Like I just, I just finally bought. I caved and bought a movie called Dark Angel, otherwise known as I Come in Peace. It's a Dolph, it's a Dolph London. Yeah, it sounded like a fucking gay porn. porn. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but uh, nice. it, uh, they rod my stuff. It, like I was looking for it for years, and I was like, I just, I, I, I can't. Like I'm not going to find this. I have to. Order. You have to I order. Have to you have to. Order. Well, I was just showing him. There's three different films that I wanted to get. I wanted to get uh, The Devil Rides Out. I wanted to get Whisper in Darkness. And then I wanted to get another one that I'm, it's just not coming to me right now. All of them were like, oh, Shuttered Room. All like 60 bucks plus. That's yeah. the, the cheapest you could find. I'm like, fuck you, man. You. Now I understand why people go on the internet and they burn shit and yeah. they fucking get illegal. You ever go on and price Are You Afraid of the Dark? I'm already there. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that was like $130. I did see something. And they're, not even, they're not even released here in the U.S., are they? Are no. They Canadian releases Canadian only? releases. That's all they were. I didn't have an all region CD player. Yeah. I didn't even watch half that shit. There was a, Xbox a TV show yeah. back in the 90s with Lance Henderson. Millennium. Yeah, I remember Millennium. Mm -hmm. They have every single episode on eBay right now for 99 bucks. And that, but at the same time, I'm like, do I want it? Don't I want it? It's a hundred bucks. I but, like, I want like the real Ghostbusters that comes in the big, big, oh, the, the big fire thing, thing. yeah, fire big station. fire hall. <laughs> but like, it's like hundreds of dollars. And then the Dark Shadows one. Oh yeah, it comes with the coffin, yeah. the Barnabas. That thing was six hundred bucks or something. Yeah, dude, it's insane. I'm yeah. like, no, I go every episode's on Hulu. I'll just watch it there. Yeah, it's one of those things. But like. Millennium, I never watched really, but I know there's a lot of weird ass shit in yeah, Millennium. I mean, well, honestly, like a lot of those, when you when you start buying like the series like that, mm -hmm. you're getting them for yourself just to have them. You're not you're right. necessarily getting them because you're going to watch them. I mean, like I got, I, I really enjoyed Quantum Leap a lot, and I got Quantum Leap, and I, uh, hi, Quantum Leap, yeah, actually, and, one and, of my favorites, and, and I got that, and that's more just to have it than. For anything else, I always like Poltergeist Legacy. The Legacy, legacy. you know what I like, and I didn't mention it at the time Freddy's Nightmares. Oh, yeah, I, I have the Halloween edition of that. You know, I, I actually like Freddy's Nightmares more than I like the actual Friday. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I thought it brought a lot more to the table. I it did, that. that's really good. That. However, the Friday the 13th TV series really sucks. Now, <laughs> we were talking about this the other day, and on Twitter, and everyone's like, well, it has nothing to do with the show. And I no, go, it doesn't. I think it does actually because if I'm not mistaken, they did an episode with the hockey mask that it came from the shop. Mm -hmm. Because remember, everything in the shop was haunted or yeah, told story. Yeah, had the story and behind I think every piece. It, it, there's a backstory there somewhere along the lines with the comic books and the books mm -hmm. that the guy got the hockey mask from from, there, from Canada, and that's what yeah. possessed him. Jason and shit was yeah. dying and stuff. It was actually haunted. It was a haunted mask that caused that to happen. Yeah. So it was a little tie. That's a little tie. -in. Yeah, but not but, much. No. Yeah, other well, than that, it's pretty good. Huh? Looking forward to wrapping it up with 88 and 89 coming up, and I think Killer Clowns is probably going to be hard, a hard one to beat. We'll see it. We'll, we'll see what Killer comes Clowns. up for 88 and 89. But this has been Paul, Brian, Kevin, Michael, and George, and we'll see you later. Josh, what's your thing?